Here's how to use the new generative fill feature in Photoshop to remove any unwanted people from your photo. The first thing that you want to do is get yourself either the normal rectangular selection or you can use the lasso tool. And then you just want to draw around the person or object that you want to remove. We then want to click on generative fill. And in here, we're just going to type in remove person and go ahead and click on generate and as you can see the person is now completely gone it's even included the lamppost right here that it was in the original photo so that is honestly incredible we can also have a variation of the different options such as the second photo if we like this one instead or the third one now in this case i would say the second one or the third one just because this area right here on the first one looks unnatural now let's say you've also removed this person right here sometimes you may not get the best results so for example if it looks like this you can simply mix and match the two together by pressing ctrl or command and j to get yourself a copy of it and with the second one we're going to set this one to the second variation and now we have the first and second together now in addition to this you can also use the remove tool hide the other two layers move this one to the bottom and then unlock this layer. You then want to hold shift, click on the top one, right click on here, go to convert to a small object, and then we're going to rasterize this layer as well. So we can actually edit it. And then from here, you just want to use the remove tool and tell the AI that you want to patch this area right here. You can also do it to this area right here as well. If you didn't want the piece of cloth underneath the arm, what you would do is you would get yourself a selection tool such as the polygonal lasso tool and then get yourself a selection so you don't affect the person. Now, sometimes the AI can tell the difference between the cloth and the person, but in most cases, it's just better to do it this way because from here, we can use the remove tool and then only remove it from here. We can then press Ctrl and D and then also fix up this area right here as well. And it's starting to look a lot better now. We can also fix this area at the bottom here as well. And there we go. That is looking a lot better compared to before. And like I said before, if you wanted to, you can also bring back the other variation, such as this one for the top. And we're just going to use the mask and you can go to the subtract, increase the size of the brush and take it away from here to mix these two together. You can even select multiple people at the same time. So if you wanted to, you can get yourself the lasso around all these people at the same time if you want to remove them all. Once again, same as last time, generative fill, type in remove people and then click on generate. And there we go. Those people are now completely gone and you can see the results are really good. The second one is not so great at the bottom, but the first is definitely the best. So this one definitely did a really good job.